Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a little video on what my eight month old eats in a day. This is Sophia here. Oh, you are cute. <laughs> and I have had the hardest time finding the right balance of a diet for her now that she's eating solids to keep her Oh my goodness. To keep her stool a normal consistency. And sometimes it's just really confusing trying to figure out what to feed an eight month old. So I remember I watched a lot of these videos when she was first starting to eat solids to try to figure out what foods she would need at different ages. And it just gave me a lot of ideas for foods that were were good that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. So hopefully this video is helpful for some of you and let's get right into it. So it's about 7.30 in the morning and she woke up around 7. She wakes up at 7 every morning and I nurse her right away and then she's gonna have a little bit of a break before she starts eating some solid foods. So she'll probably have her first solid meal. Oh, look at around 8.30 or so. She she doesn't go a super long time without eating. She just kind of grazes all day, so. Oh <laughs> so I'll see you guys when she eats her next meal. So here's her next solid meal. This is half a banana mashed up with some applesauce. There's some applesauce that I had canned last year. And then it has these probiotics. This is her favorite meal, her favorite solid meal. So I make a bunch of it in the morning and then I feed her little bits of it throughout the day when I feed her other foods so that she'll eat the other foods. And this is some butternut squash mixed up with bone broth that I made a couple weeks ago. So this is a nice solid meal where she's got like a vegetable, a protein, she's got two fruits and a probiotic and then I try to get her to drink as much of her water during a meal as I can. She's very interested in her bib. <laughs> she actually really likes the butternut squash. feed her mostly organic and local things. So like the butternut squash, I canned last year in cubes in some quart jars and then now I just drain out the water and mash up the cubes and it works out perfectly. I made the bone broth myself from some bones from my grandparents' cows and some um, pig bones. The applesauce is from apples from my grandparents' orchard that I canned last year. I mean, bananas are just from the store, but. And then I also, preserved a whole bunch of different kinds of baby food. I cooked each kind and then I froze it in cubes and put it all in the freezer. So I have some broccoli, some cauliflower, some carrot, some pears, and they're all things that are organic and most of them are local. So that's what I try to aim for with her meals. But like the other day we introduced her to mango and that was from the store and it wasn't organic. So I mean, some things aren't, but as much as I can. So I fed Sophia a little bit of a snack, just a little bit of the same solids that I fed her earlier. And then she just went down for her first nap. And I hope she takes a long one because I have a lot of stuff I need to get done. I'm about to get in the shower. So I'll see you when she wakes up. Well, she had her nice long nap. She slept for an hour and a half, so that was really nice. And when she woke up, I fed her her bottle of homemade formula. As a lot of you guys know, I am pregnant again. I'm 11 weeks with our second, and so <laughs> I don't have enough milk for her, and it's just, ow, ow, goodbye. It's just continuing to slowly go down, and so she's she has her morning nursing, and then after her first nap, she has a bottle, ow, ow. And then after her second nap, she has breastfeeding, and then right before bed, she has a bottle. So it's two and two, and I use the Nourishing Traditions raw milk formula recipe, so it's it's a pretty good equivalent to breast milk, it's just not quite as good, but yeah. So she had about eight ounces of that formula. Normally she doesn't drink that much, especially in the earlier feeding. She usually has like five ounces maybe, and then the nighttime feeding she has around seven ounces, but lately she's drinking a lot more, which is good because then she can last all the way through the night. Okay, it's about two o'clock now. We have the rest of our apple banana mixture. And the rest of our butternut squash, she'll finish these off 
Well, she'll fi finish this one off, this meal, and this one off will be, this one will be finished today. And then I got out some cubes of the frozen broccoli from the, from the freezer last night and thawed them out. And this has some grated raw liver in it from some local organic cows, which is really, really good for babies. So what I like to do, since she's not a huge fan of broccoli, is I get a little bit on the back of the spoon and then a little bit of fruit on the front of the spoon. So then I can kind of sneak it in there without her knowing about it. Oh, you gotta eat the whole thing. Get a little more fruit. I'm gonna get a little more fruit so she doesn't notice. Okay, you ready for another bite? <laughs> I like to make sure she has plenty of vegetables during the day. For a while I was giving her too much fruit and she was having some diarrhea issues, but now that I give her at least two different kinds of vegetables and definitely the squash because she loves it, it's the only kind of vegetable I can get her to eat a bunch of. So I have this chunk of frozen raw liver that I keep in the freezer. This is from a cow that we bought last year. It's organic. You want to make sure if you feed your baby raw liver that it's organic and local and you know exactly where it's from. I'm super, super picky when it comes to raw liver. And then I just use the zester and I zest it up so that it's nice and small and it's, it's way easier to zest than to actually grate. And then I just put it straight in her broccoli and I put some salt in there because salt is really good for them as well. And that's that. So when she's seeming to get bored of the mashed food, I'll bring her just in the living room or somewhere where she can play with all of her toys. And I brought here some broccoli that I cooked a couple days ago so it's nice and soft. And I'm just breaking up chunks of that and of this banana and feeding them to her. She really likes to be able to mash up the food herself. She has a lot more fun with it that way. Sophia just fell asleep for her second nap. Right before I put her to bed, I fed her a little bit more of that same food I fed her a little while ago. Just to top her off, just in hopes that she'll take a little bit longer of a nap, but that's unlikely. And then when she wakes up from her nap, I will breastfeed her. Well, Sophia just woke up from her nap, from her second nap. It was about an hour, an hour, yeah. We actually had to wake her up so that she wouldn't have to go to bed too late, which is crazy. She usually has a horrible nap for her second nap. And then when she woke up from that nap, I nursed her and she, Luke was home, so she was really distracted because she was really excited that daddy was home, so she didn't nurse too much, so I actually had to feed her start feeding her snacks pretty soon after that nursing session, which was fine. I'll just be really full in the morning when she nurses. Well, Sophia's in bed for the night now. We had some company over tonight, so I didn't really feed her any more of her mashed foods. I just let her snack on a banana, and I would give her chunks on the table in front of her and let her try to eat them herself. So she ate a good amount of a whole banana from when her last nap ended to when I stopped feeding her so she would be hungry for formula for the night. And then I fed her some formula right before bed and she drank about six ounces or so, which is decent. And then I put her to bed. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my eight month old eats in a day. It can be really simple or it can be more complicated. And I think a lot of people think that you kind of have to feed your baby like that rice cereal or Cheerios or just like kind of the standard baby food, which is actually not very good for your baby. So I just stick with like as much fruits and vegetables and like bone broth is extremely good for your baby and raw liver. I try to change it up with those those things. It Sometimes she gets a little tired of eating the same thing, but so far it's worked pretty well. But I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye.